So this time, the figure that we're looking at from the Classic Avengers set uh, from Toy Biz is Iron Man. This being the first suit that Iron Man had. Uh, and actually repainted into gold from the gray. Uh, and... Iron Man makes his first appearance in Tales of Suspense, number 39, back in 1963. Uh, it's the next issue, number 40, where he gets his gold armor, or where he paints his armor gold. And uh, I must say that this figure is kind of a disappointment. Uh, if you see the picture, remember the picture on the back, uh, that showed a much more brighter gold in the paint on the character. This one is much more a dirty gold, almost, almost a bronze, really. But it's got some nice details. You can see that the armor has been through some, uh, through some battles, you can see a couple of dents here and there. He's got a working antenna that slides up and down, and uh, pretty sparse on the detailing, but uh, that suit pretty much was, you know, pretty sparse. Articulation, his arms go up and down. That's it. There's no elbow articulation. There is wrist articulation. There is waist articulation. There's slight leg articulation at the hips, but it is blocked by his little uh, skirt or tunic type thing here. Uh, and he does have knee articulation, although that too is very limited just because of how bulky the suit is, I guess. Now, the, he has one other feature that really uh, helps this figure, is his removable helmet. Yes, I know that's uh, pretty much standard with, a, uh, with an Iron Man, but at this time, uh, that was quite novel. And you have Tony Stark underneath there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Pretty much it for the figure. Uh, like I said, I kind of wish there would have been a little bit more brighter gold, um, and have a little bit more detailing on it. Because uh, uh, even though there's details molded into the figure, uh, I think a little paint application there would have just highlighted it a little bit better. Uh, now, uh, just quickly for those of you who don't know, again, uh, we're going to talk, Anthony Edward Stark was the genius son of industrialist Howard Stark and his wife Maria. And he was a graduated MIT, I think, uh, I don't know, I was uh, 18, 19 years old, or maybe even 17, I think it was, but definitely quite soon, and uh, shortly thereafter, he loses both parents to uh, a car accident, and he resumes, or he assumes control of the family business, Stark Industries. Uh, flash forward years later where uh, Tony Stark is in Vietnam, yes Vietnam, uh, observing how some of his new weapons because his uh, his company is a weapons manufacturer, munitions, and uh, he's got a bunch of new new weapons and he wants to he's seeing how they operate in the field and uh, he is caught in a 
attack uh, where he's injured and then captured by the Vietnamese. Uh, and he's... Uh, they know who he is, so he's kept alive to make weapons for them now. And... Uh, He and a fellow prisoner uh, by the name of Yo Hin Hinson uh, make a chest plate uh, to keep the uh, shrapnel that's inside of him uh, from working its way into his heart. They then, instead of making weapons for the Vietnamese or the North Vietnamese, uh, they start to make a suit of armor, which Tony then uses to make uh, their escape. Uh, unfortunately, Yinsen uh, dies so that uh, Stark can escape. Another uh, uh, prisoner of war or uh, someone who's been actually on his way back to rejoin the Americans, he runs into another uh, person fleeing from being captured by the Viet Cong, and uh, that is, of course, his soon-to-be uh, best friend and uh, confident James Rhodes. And uh, so, anyway, they make it back to America, and uh, Tony decides that. Uh, He's going to use this new suit that he created uh, to be a force for good and uh, becomes the superhero Iron Man and eventually hires himself, uh, the Iron Man, as Iron Man, as a bodyguard and spokesperson for his company. And, uh, of course, if you, uh, read the last one, he, uh, he intercepts a transmission by, uh, by Rick Jones to the Fantastic Four asking for aid to, uh, capture the Hulk. And uh, he decides that uh, he's going to go out and try and capture the Hulk, which leads to him being involved in the Avengers. After the, the Avengers decide to uh, form as a team, uh, he offers his New York mansion uh, as headquarters. Uh, so that is the famous Avengers mansion was owned by Tony Stark's family and sets up a foundation in the name of his mother to fund the Avengers. That'll be it for uh, this one. Uh, stay tuned for my next review which will be on probably both Ant-Man and Wasp.